Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a long time since uh, I've done a video, about a couple, maybe three weeks. Gosh, it feels like a while. I've been busy kind of writing for my new job at a uh, magazine called Little Village. It's a um, magazine company that's based out of Iowa City, Cedar Rapids area. So I've been busy with that, kind of doing uh, my first batch of written reviews for them, and it's been really fun. But um, need to get back on this YouTube thing, and so I'm back with my review for Glass. So Glass is a movie that is directed by M. Night Shyamalan. It's his follow-up to the movie Split, and Split is a movie that I really, really, really dug, and I think James Ackerboy gives a tremendous performance in that movie. It's absolutely tremendous, and I think he actually steps it up in Glass which is crazy. I think he actually does more personalities in this movie. So with Glass, um, I was expecting, well, I guess I should just say Split in its ending, if you haven't seen it, spoiler, I guess, it, it kind of reveals that it's a part of the Unbreakable universe. So that was something that I did not see coming and it kind of floored a lot of people. So I was really excited for the follow-up in Glass. And what I have to say about this movie is that it does feel a bit undercooked. There's a, this movie feels like it's a whole bunch of really cool ideas, but none of them really get executed properly. And I don't know if this is a, like a part of being rushed or something. I'm not really sure. Um, there's some people that put out... Um, or wrote about this saying that it kind of feels like a first draft of a movie, and I can agree with that actually. Um, so I mean, this is this is the main complaint around this movie is that there's just a lot of good ideas and it's just not executed very well. Another complaint about this movie is that the ending, it's just it doesn't feel very earned. It is just kind of mm, not very satisfying. And I, 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 this is non spoiler review, so I I I want you guys to go check this movie out and um, make an opinion for yourself. Um, but I do agree that the ending of this movie is not very satisfying just because it's, it just feels like the movie is kind of toying with this audience a bit and it doesn't, it doesn't feel cr right. It feels kind of misleading in a way. So, I don't know. It, it, this movie is kind of odd because I do feel like there's parts of it that I really, really, really liked. Like, the the beginning of the movie is solid. It's almost a direct continuation of Split and kind of its tone, which is awesome. And then it just kind of shifts into this really kind of a drag of a psychological interrogation movie. It's really... So the sum of up, it, it's kind of like Sarah Paulson, who is this uh, psychiatrist. She has to convince these um, three kind of superheroes, and they ha she has to convince them that they're actually not superheroes in three days, unless they're just going to be kept in a mental institution for forever. And it just feels like they kind of keep beating a dead horse throughout this whole movie, and. I don't know. It, it, it kind of feels one note for a lot of this, and it it's really a drag. So many just heavy dialogue and exposition scenes, and the action, while it's okay, is not nothing crazy like to rave about. Um, by far the best part of this movie is James McAvoy. I mean, he is just, like, stellar. I mean, I think if there's any reason to see this movie, it's him. He is that good in it. So... Aside from that, I'm trying to think. There's there's not really too many positives for this movie, in my opinion. Just because it, it does feel really half-baked. Um, I think this movie needed just more time uh, and more revisions. And yeah, I think another like maybe half year to a full year of work on this movie would have done it some really, really... Um, some justice. It would have done some really good work for this movie. So I just, I just need more work. So it's, it kind of leaves us in a weird place because 
the the first two movies, Unbreakable and Split, are so good, and he just kind of leaves us with this unsatisfact, un the kind of this miss of a final movie in the trilogy. It's just kind of a bummer. Um, performance wise, James McAvoy great. Sarah Paulson is given a really bad character, really one note, really boring. Uh, Glass doesn't even get lines until midway through the movie, and the movie's called Glass, which makes no sense. And Bruce Willis' character, um, David Dunn, is okay, but he like, he doesn't get many lines. He's just kind of there. And, yeah, I don't know. This movie was kind of a bummer, uh, with moments of greatness, I think. So, there's not much more to say about this movie. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of a letdown. So uh, let me know what you guys thought of Glass in the comment section below. I'd like to talk about it and see if it actually resonated with you because I know there's some people who actually liked it. So yeah, let's, let's have a discussion about it. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you at the movies.